Thank you. Joseph Pond. Good evening. My name is Joseph Pond, and I would like to talk about the Backyard Chickens Alliance of Cobb County. Our goal is to change the zoning ordinance that essentially outlaws backyard chickens in Cobb County through gaining community support and working with the Board of Commissioners. Chickens are becoming more common and more popular in the backyards of urban communities. The reasons for the rapid growth of the backyard chickens movement include moving towards self-sufficiency through the backyard production of eggs, having a compatible partner to gardening through organic pest control and the production of organic fertilizer, a decrease in kitchen waste by feeding the scraps to the flock, the educational value in learning where food comes from, and the desire of families to eliminate bioengineered and non-organic foods. They also make great pets. Yes, pets. Backyard chickens are no more livestock than feral cats and stray dogs or household pets. Backyard chickens are raised from chicks by hand to thrive in a domestic environment. They become interactive with their owners and their owners become very attached to them, just like a cat or a dog. I recently read a story about a nursing home that brought three chicks after reading a study that concluded people who came into contact with animals often experience reduced blood pressure and anxiety and improved social interaction and sleep patterns. An administrator said, chickens are known to be a big stimulation for people. Everyone at the home is delighted they are here. Let's hope the benefits can be felt for a long time to come. Backyard chickens are kept in a multi-purpose pen that includes a coop, hen houses, and a built-in run. The coop is their shelter, the hen houses are where the ladies lay their eggs, and the run is free space for them to wander around in. Backyard chicken guides recommend four to 10 square feet of run per chicken. By comparison, the hens that laid those eggs you bought home from the Piggly Wiggly live in an area less than the size of a sheet of paper. Contrary to what some people assume, backyard chickens do not smell. In fact, backyard don't do not keep their pen clean. They only smell due to the owner neglect, much like any other pet. Two large dogs produce more waste per day than 10 chickens, and the chicken waste makes great fertilizer, unlike dog waste. Hens are not noisy. Roosters are, but so are dogs, lawnmowers, and a host of other things. Some people actually enjoy the sounds of roosters. Some don't. And no, you do not need a rooster for the hens to lay eggs. There is no case on record anywhere where chickens have lowered the property values of surrounding houses. According to the Georgia Association of Realtors, and I quote, I will not be able to assist you too much in any real statistical data on the impact of raising chickens in urban and suburban environments on property values because such data is not tracked on either the state or national level to my knowledge, nor could I find any such data after doing research on the subject. On the contrary, Living Green is so fashionable that some realtors and home sellers are offering a free chicken coop with every sale. You have heard of cities having tours of homes. Now cities, including Atlanta and Decatur, are having tours of chicken coops, where people are showing off their high-end and very well-decorated backyard chicken coops. Backyard chickens are allowed in Alpharetta, Roswell, Dunwoody, and Smyrna, just to name a few places in the metro area. They are doing just fine. And Cobb County will as well when the current 1972 code pertaining to poultry is reviewed and revised to meet the current needs and wants of 2011. I live in Cobb County. I expect the best. And that means being able to keep my pets of my choosing and feeding my family locally grown organic eggs regardless of the size of the lot that I live on. My late mother used to say, to each their own, and God bless everyone. I do the best that I can to live that out every day. Backyard chickens are not for everyone, but everyone should have the right to own backyard chickens. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Karen Jones. 